All right, all right, by the will of my friends, don't mind this blanket around my neck. By the way, I'm cold and I didn't have a jacket. Okay, so I've been buying some really crazy stuff lately and all my friends are like, why haven't you showed this to the audience? This is absolutely some crazy stuff. You guys know that I buy some crazy stuff for myself. I buy some crazy stuff for whatnot and everything in between. I buy the weird, the different, the unusual, the stuff that you don't see, I find it all. And recently I've come across a few items that I think are kind of like holy bazoonga, holy bangers. I have to show you guys. All my friends were like, seriously, why aren't you showing people this? You have a, a channel about this kind of stuff. Show it already. So I guess I will. <laughs> give us the, oh, give us a good stretch. <laughs> Sit. Huh? Thank you, good dog. All right, here we go. The password. First item is going to be this Super Mario 64 AM FM flashlight radio with siren in an amazingly clean, crystal clear blister pack. Do you okay, Taffy? This thing is unbelievably beautiful and unbelievably clean. I cannot believe I came in possession of one of these that looks this beautiful. Oh my gooshy gosh, what's next? Up next in the same line, in the same vein of audio, check this out, a Super Mario 64 AM FM headphone radio, again, in a blister pack, just like before. I've seen these in other colors before, but the other colors I wasn't really a big fan of, like the yellow, it just wasn't the kind of yellow that I liked. But this one looks beautiful and perfectly green. Again, I cannot believe, again, by the same brand, Sakar or Sacker? I don't even know. Super cool, unbelievable, unbelievable. The next one is this Nintendo 64, as per usual, AM, FM, radio. This is the one that kind of started my hunt when I found this one first. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta find the other ones of these. This is absolutely beautiful. I love the spherical shape of this. I love the Super Mario 64 branding down there. The colors, the vibrance. I, I This one, it's like there's some that you're like tempted to open, but I think this one for sure I'm gonna put on whatnot because I kind of told some people I would already. Being involved in the retro world for so long, I see so much of the same stuff that to me it's just so fun and unique to hunt down the different things to keep that hunt alive which I've said before to keep the journey exciting for you so for this I mean this is it for me you could show me a little Samson which of course is gonna be more valuable but I've held a hundred little Samson's at this point okay that's an exaggeration probably four but still you don't see this it's starting to rain Wow California rain. A few people have definitely seen these Nintendo 64 cameras right here. I've showed a few people different versions of these, but did you know what this actually came with? What it actually came with back in the day was this Nintendo 64 binoculars set. Again, not something super expensive, but super cool, super hard to find out there. I think there's one right now on eBay with the camera for like $120. So beautiful, awesome, and different. Uh, uh, breaker, breaker, breaker. Can anybody find Ricky out there? And if you can't find Ricky, this is gonna make sure you do when he disappears at the swap meet. Nintendo 64 walkie talkies. Both work, by the way. Never seen these before. When I came across these, I was like, oh my gooshy gosh. This is one that I definitely had to pick up right away, no questions asked, not only with the nice green color, and it's crazy to have all these Nintendo 64 items now that are all pretty cool looking, but they're all like radio, audio related. Super different, super weird. Also, picked this up recently, 1988 Nintendo of America hat, yes, Gray old GameCube controller, oh. got that Arctic white GameCube controller. I actually won this one on whatnot and I didn't even know it was that valuable until I looked it up during the auction, which by the way, I appreciate that you can do during whatnot live auctions, was this Pocket Power The Wizard. Little strategy handbook uh, straight from the pros of Nintendo Power. You ever heard someone say that something is in mint condition? You wanna know how I would describe mint condition? Would be this copy of Ghouls and Ghosts on the Sega Genesis. Watch this, my friends. Bum, 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 bum. 
What could this be? This is a banger. Check this one out, guys. This is pretty gnarly. Don't even think about it. I love you, but don't even think about it. This is gnarly. P I Neo Geo PlayStation 4 Sealed Metal Slug Anthology. This is awesome. Besides the fact that this is like hard to get your hands on and very pricey, which I did pay up for a lot for, just so great. Metal Slug is one of the greatest or the greatest. You know, I've kind of had a, a change of tune lately about Metal Slug. I mean, I've always liked it, but I'm definitely putting it up there higher than I did before. It is just such a great run and gun series. I never showed this before either on official camera. Caleb got me this. Phoenix Resale. I edit for him if you guys did to know him and retro rick if any of you didn't know that this is so cool i was actually editing a video of his a long time ago and he found one of these and i was like dude that is so sick that is so rad and like two months later this showed up at my door for christmas anybody hungry who needs to pack a lunch with these super mario bros from 1990 nintendo of america lunch bags technically still sealed it's not been opened all the way just been sliced on the edge i mean it's not sealed but it's definitely never been used or fully open could it be another item for me is there a gift for me out there anything oh boy oh boy what the i don't even know what i ordered yeah yeah How exciting. Boxes. But I did order these for maximum comfort. Okay, same day, different time. You guys gotta see these. All right, these next couple items just came in and they're insane. They are insane. I just sent them to a couple friends and they were like, what? I thought the same thing when I found these. Check these out. So these are some old school Nintendo of America glasses cases, right? They could be for sunglasses or regular glasses, but check out what I got with them. Now you may not be impressed and be like, uh, glasses, cool, prescription kind of girly glasses, pretty sweet. They are, there we go, if I hold very still, you can see these are actual Nintendo glasses, prescription glasses right here. Unbelievable, I didn't even know these exist. It took me a while to find these with the glasses. So you can you can find the glass cases online. You can find those on eBay, but right now, currently, at the time of filming this, there is nobody that has these. I've never come across them at Swap Meet. Unreal, you don't see it. My buddies at Retro Gaming Pandemic were freaking out over these just now. Another cool one right here, not super uncommon, but very cool, is a very clean OG Bally Midway Pac-Man pillowcase. This is a cool one. This is actually my preferred way to see Pac-Man is him looking like this. That is one of my favorite uh, designs of Pac-Man, just the, one of the old school, more original styles of Pac-Man. So cool and I absolutely love it. Possibly one of my favorite art styles of Super Mario Bros. right here from 1988. This is as OG as it gets, but just look at this art inside of this art. Like if you really look up close, like when do you see Goombas looking like that? And look at look at the Fire Flower. Look at the Koopa Troopa. Look at the Piranha Plant right here. That's not your Piranha Plant from Smash Bros. right there. And Mario just looking crazy eyed and wild. Such a beautiful, beautiful piece. But one of the coolest things about this pillowcase is when you flip it over, it is a Legend of Zelda pillowcase. It's a little beat up on this end of the pillowcase on this side, but that is okay. Again, I love how these pillowcases have a big art style around them and inside of it, they have a box, maybe representing the TV or representing the game is what it seems like. Again, super cool, super awesome. Just awesome items. I'm all about it. An amazing Sonic the Hedgehog game works towel. Good gracious, this is awesome. I have never seen a Sonic the Hedgehog towel before, and I love me some collectible towels. I have like some Pac-Man ones, some Mario ones, but I don't have this one, or nor have I seen it. Well, since I said it, I guess I'll show you. There is the Pac-Man towel. Awesome, OG, can't even read the year on this. It's obviously super old and worn out and used. Dope! This is super rad, super old, vintage, obviously for a very small child, but an original Game Boy Alleyway Super Mario Bros. t-shirt. Look at that popping art, popping colors. I almost love how Mario has like a pinkish hue to the red, making it pop just a little bit more in my opinion, which makes it, which, which makes it that much cooler. And then these are just 
so cool as well. Super Mario Bros. Original. Really thick in like mint condition warm tube socks. As you can see, beautiful coloring still. Everything's perfect. It has the tread on the bottom. It's for non-slip. And yes, from 1991. How about a Nintendo Radio Boy? I actually got turned on to these from Jay from the Game Chasers. He told me about these quite a while ago and he was like, dude, these are so cool, been looking for them. I came across one the minute it got listed and bought up for it. I was just like, you know what? You never see these, these are amazing. This one might go on whatnot because I've also had other people ask about it. Super awesome, super, super sick. Super Mario Bros vintage kite. This is pretty sick. I have rarely, rarely even seen these online. I actually won this in a whatnot auction from my buddy Greco Fabulous. Absolutely banger. These are pretty hard to come across also and can be very pricey. This is a 1989 made by Peter Pan Industries. They do a lot of different vintage stuff like this, but this is just absolutely beautiful plate. Absolute banger plate. So I know I showed the pillowcase earlier, which I actually was able to come across another one. By the way, this is a completely different day. I also was able to get the full bedding set. Yes, the fitted sheet along with the regular sheet. My gosh, look at that. I mean, that is just absolutely gorgeous. This is mega god level right here. Couple more towels I was able to come across too and score. These are vintage and dope. As you can tell, this is an old Pokemon one. Again, I'm not a Pokemon guy, but I really do like the older first gen Pokemon a lot better. I could probably name you all of these guys, but definitely could not do, <laughs> do so with the newer Pokemon. And this Pac-Man towel by Midway. It's not giant. I'd say it's like one size under a full size giant towel. It is just sick. Look at that. I love it. It's gorgeous. Wow. Another N64 camera. I have come across like five different variations of these. Never this one in the wild. Only this one I've seen online. I've never seen this one out in actual person until now when I recently got it. One of the last things I will show you guys is probably in my opinion, what might be the biggest item that I've picked up probably even in value, even though I didn't pay as much as it's probably worth. I paid around $120 for this, and everybody I've shown this has been like, holy sweet lord. The Game Boy Pocket, pocket size fun, original, original packaging from what I understand. Again, I'm not a Game Boy Pro, but from what I understand is this is like what they used in some of the first runs, maybe the first run of Game Boy Pocket. This is how they looked. This is complete. This is working as well. And again, I did pay up for this around $120. I can't remember exactly, but apparently I think these go for around like $230 to $250, maybe even more. There's actually none listed right now, even for sale. Right, Taffy? Right, dog? Wait, wait, wait. Catch. Ready? Ready? Three. Catch. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of doing pickup videos, so I thought this would be a fun, interesting way to just kind of show you guys some of the stuff I got recently uh, that I thought would be cool to show you guys. So with that said, adios, Mad Max.